Hi guys! I'm doing 20 shoes as part of my rotation. Okay, uh, there's no rhyme and reason to it. It's just stuff I like to wear. Jordan 3 Black Cement 3s. That's uh, back with the Nike Air on the back. Last pair I got of these were from the CDP pack. These kinds of shoes kind of crumble after a while. I always get a pair when the old one crumbles, for particularly for the threes. Three number two, uh, Royal Ones. Uh, I remember in the back in the mid 2000s, I had the J Pack uh, SBs, and they were based on the Jordan One Royals. I just really like Royal Blue and Black. It's actually a suiting uh, no-no, but on sneakers, it's, uh, I like it. I wear these a lot too. Shattered backboard Jordan ones. Tribute to when Michael Jordan shattered a uh, backboard. It's one of the few remixes of the color that I'm amicable to. A lot of people tend to just like the original colors Retros came out in. Uh, but these, uh, these are one of the exceptions. Speaking of remixes, I also like how they remixed this one, the Jordan 4. Levi's, the new denim ones. So a lot of people have been distressing them. I'm trying to wear it like on a maybe twice a week, just to wear them out a little. We play basketball once a week with a lot of the bad people. I really like these hyper revs. Collab with Fragment, Nike, and Bolt just makes sense to me. Fragment hyper Reb. Recent pickups: Vapor Max Pluses. So we were actually on tour last year when the Vapor Maxes came out and me, Myrene, and Jago just we couldn't agree on the silhouette. We didn't like the fly knit versions of these when, it, when they first came out but when I saw the Air Max Plus hybrid with the Vapor Max sole, uh, I like how they added that extra thing right there. It makes it a lot clunkier. When it fit the first Vapor Maxes, my foot kind of felt very wobbly. I like these a lot more. Was it 2016? Uh, John Mayer said Sneaker of the Year. Uh, a lot of us tend to agree. The acronym Prestos with the zip zip. Yeah. Converse CT70s. I just really like the shape of the CT70s. Pointier, uh, but the toe isn't as big. Makes a lot of difference. I don't know. The aesthetic. Undefeated uh, One Stars. I've been wearing One Stars a lot too. Nirvana. <laughs> Gotta wear one stars. So a lot of the stuff I wear, I like to call it the wrapper pack. These are the one stars, both the Fleurs, uh, Converse one star collabs with Tyler the Creator. I didn't know they came with extra laces with this color, so I immediately put them on. Fire! 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 <laughs> this, uh, this is my daughter's favorite shoe, by the way. Right? It's an oldie but goodie. I decided to undies them up. Last month. <laughs> uh, can't go wrong with Air Force Ones. Uh, um, I, I've only started wearing Air Force Ones very recently. I've always been a Dunk SV guy, and then always they, they seem too bulky for me at the, before when I was younger, but now I like them. Feels very solid on the foot. I'm a sucker for uh, the red tab details. Like the, the Jordan 4s, so they're a collab with Levi's, so they have that red tab right there. And it's cool that uh, this one doesn't have Levi's on it. So it's the same as the jeans. Some jeans you get, uh, it doesn't say Levi's because it's at the end of a spool. So I asked, I actually messaged one of the guys from Jordan Brand to ask about this. And it's directed me to the site that explains how Levi's does it. So there's a spool where this thing comes from. And sometimes at the end, there's no more Levi's on it. And then the R is still there because you have to keep the R so they can keep the trademark for it, regardless of there's a Levi's or not. Trivia. Wrapper pack, the Tyler shoes. I like the Pharrell NM, uh, NMDs, the U-Race, yeah, Human Race. Uh, when they came out, I just had to have them. Big NERD and Pharrell fan. Two of my favorite shoes the past year. Uh, Power Faces, which is, uh, okay, it's an old, it's a retro, but I just really like the color and how it, uh, how it feels on foot. The leather is very soft. Yeah, uh, the, the first power faces and the Easy 350B2 Zebras. Very comfy. The King Push EQT Boosts. 
yes, I'm a I'm a fan of the Boost technology. It's really comfy. I mean, I can last a few more hours on my feet in a day. So I really like these because they have the Ultra Boost sole, which I like, and then. Can't be gray because we're in the Philippines, everything's dusty, gets dirty. This is actually pretty filthy right now. But it's okay because it's gray. Like, hindi mong pap. Hindi mong papansin, madumi. It's pushy tea. Just. And then I really like baby animals. Because the eyes are googly. Okay. Thank you. So we like these. Uh, these are ASIC Gel Light 5s. Well, it's a collab with Sabotage. A very good uh, shout outs to Mark Ong. Very good friend of mine. Yeah, yes, please. Well, after, I'll call you. My signature guitar, the T Rex, actually features some of his art uh, on the back of the neck. Uh, the spine on the back of the neck is done by Mark Ong. I've always been a fan of his olive camo print and when they put I don't know they just executed this pretty well with a quilt uh, quilted mesh and then you can take out the tongue tags so yeah a6 gel light 5 collab with SBTG we actually work with Vans a lot and here are some of the stuff I've been wearing a lot I think these were slept on these are the undercover Vans again I just really like gray <laughs> you want to see? Look at this one. Hi. Vans undercover, old schools. I like old schools a lot. They just fit my foot properly. Okay, so old schools. I have two old schools in my rotation right now. These, because it's gray, easy, easy to match, and to not worry about dirt. So yeah, thank you. So yeah, I like these ones. Uh, th uh, this is from the. Vans Old School, Anaheim, and it's too heavy according to me, which is weird because they have the ultra push inside with the insole. The Vans Anaheim pack, super comfy. I have two from the pack. They have the lighter and softer insoles. These are the two from the pack. Checkered, checkered, checkered all day. I have one era and one authentic. So we like these. It says fear of God. I've always liked the authentic shape on foot uh, without the padding in the back, but eras fit me better. It's <laughs> ganda fat, the tiis ganda factor. This be my BTs. I saw yeah, Eric Clapton, John Mayer, all those dudes wearing these. And I just really like how they're dressy but still sneakers. Ish. For when I want to wear something Japanesey. <laughs> no, I just really like the tiger print. I think we're done. Okay. We're done! <laughs>